I have had uh, about six months of accordion lessons when I was six years old, which is, uh, you know, really stuff really sticks with you. And uh, I think I did about a semester of uh, piano in college because I was trying to learn how to sight read, um, but that didn't really take. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I play a uh, little piano, keyboards, a little, um, little drums. Uh, I play the ukulele, I play the bass, I play the guitar, mostly the guitar. The guitar is my instrument of choice. It's what I write songs on mostly. Um, a few other little tiny things I dabble with, but that's pretty much it. Um, probably my favorite challenge and the most difficult one was going up against Jonathan Colton because it's Jonathan Colton. Um, and I knew he was going to deliver an amazing song, which he did, Space Doggity. And uh, that was just nerve-wracking, and it really forced me to try really, really hard to do something good. And it's probably, and High is the song I ended up doing for that, and it's probably the song I get the most compliments on. So I think, I think I achieved my goal there, but I remember when I heard Space Doggity for the first time, you know, listening for the results of the, sh of the contest, I was both excited and, and, and I wept a little because I knew he would kick my ass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that one. Uh, I wrote my first song when I was 18 um, on the guitar. I just started learning the guitar and uh, getting back into music. Um, it wasn't a, a bad song per se, but it was uh, terribly simple. Uh, and I probably, the thing I've learned most since then is um, how to structure songs, how to, uh, how to produce and record songs, um, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, and don't ask me to play it. I'm not going to play it for you. So don't ask me. Yes, I'm working on two CDs right now. Uh, the first one is a children's album. Uh, it's an EP, uh, basically just songs for the kids to get up and dance and play to. Uh, I have three kids under five, so um, I just wanted to bring some music that was a little less uh, boring uh, into my own house, and hopefully other people will like it, and we'll see how people respond. Um, the second CD I'm working on is with Mike Lombardo, and uh, that one is titled Songs Your Grandmother Won't Like. And it really it couldn't be more different from the first CD in that it's just completely inappropriate. It's just songs, it's songs that Weird Al would go, hmm, I don't know if I want to touch that. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be borderline offensive, if not downright offensive. Uh, and this all stems from, from an incident where Mike, uh, after releasing his first album, found out that his cousin had burned three songs off his first album onto a, a separate CD for his grandmother because she didn't like the rest of the album and she didn't want to have to deal with you know, skipping over those tracks. Uh, needless to say, this offended him a little bit, so it was his idea and uh, we're putting that together. So, you know, that's not, that's not a conflict, right? I can do a children's CD and then a, a you know, bad adult, not so... No? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Too Much Awesome is Too Much Awesome. Uh, Mike and I started a community when we were talking about basically that we didn't have enough fans, you know, separately to uh, get people to come to the forums and, and hang out. Um, so we didn't have any forums. So we thought, well, hey, why don't we, why don't we start, start a community and invite an, anybody and everybody we know to it? And it's been wildly successful. Like, we couldn't be more pleased. And um, it's kind of taken, off a, taken on a life of its own. We really don't know where it's going. Um, and, but it's really fun to just watch and kind of go week by week and see what happens. So if you're not a member, join Too Much Awesome at Ning.com. Um, it's just basically new model musicians who, who aren't signed to labels, who are just trying to promote, the, promote their music and get themselves out there. So check it out. Yeah, I'm already working with Mike. Um, there's a lot of internet musicians I would really love to collaborate with, but um, I don't, know, don't have my computer in front of me right now, so I'm at a bit of a loss. But YouTubers specifically, um, 
Molly Lewis pops to mind. Um, she's fabulous, and um, uh, I love that she's just her and a uke usually, and it's just uh, really a great, great sound and, and, and so much fun. But I'd really like to get her into a studio and produce some stuff with her. I just think it would be a lot of fun and, and great, great music. Um, who else? Pomple Moose is just fantastic. They're just amazing, the stuff they do. That would just be fun to do because I, you know, I'm a bit of a fan, so I think that would be really, really fun. Um, this, there's a few others I can't off the top of my head think of, but there's lots, lots of people I'd like to collaborate with. Well, Molly, um, I subscribe to uh, Natalie and Jack and, and Pomp and Moose, and I subscribe to um, Joel Cathy, does some really cool stuff. Um, I subscribe to Sarah Parsons, who's also a member of TMA, Too Much Awesome. She's really great. Uh, this, there's countless others, but again, I don't have my computer in front of me. It's kind of strange since I'm doing this for the web. I think I would have thought this through a little better. Favorite place to sing? The car. I, I really don't sing in the shower because my whole family would come in and mock me, so I don't do that there. Um, but I do sing a lot in the car. In fact, I, I do a lot of my four-track sessions. If you go to my Bandcamp page, you'll see those there, uh, where I, where I um, record songs using the four-track app for iPhone. Uh, I do 80% of that stuff I do in the car, or at least the vocals anyway, because um, it's just a quiet place where no one bugs me and I don't care about sound quality so much and I'm usually stuck in traffic for a few hours or, or at least one, so I need to busy myself. So, yeah, the car. Ha <laughs> ha, I would, oh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna. That's just a. It's, it's a hard question. It's a mean question. I kind of like. I kind of like that about it. Um, I have to go with Tay. Sorry, Fred. There you go. I have a few things that I'm about to roll out, but I don't want to um, put the cart before the horse, so I'm not going to promote anything quite yet. Uh, I will say that last month in October I put that, put out a song for uh, breast cancer research called Thank You, and that's on my Bandcamp page, and you, uh, uh, if you buy that, uh, the proceeds go to charity for the remainder of the year. So if you like the song and you want to give to charity, that's that would be great. Um, other than that, I have a few things coming up, uh, probably the very beginning of December that I will be announcing, um, but that's about it right now. Best place to find music and dance related videos? Why well, that would be Spin Town. This interview brought to you by Sunkissed.